all right welcome back thanks for tuning in to another video so i was asked how to properly apply a weed and feed product so i'm going to go over the weed and feed product that i'm going to be applying today and the area that i'm going to be applying it at so stay tuned and let's go over that right now okay so here you go this is your basic weed and feed product this is going to kill 250 plus weeds i bought this at walmart this is their store brand like i said it's a basic weed and feed it does not have any kind of preventer inside the bag. If you want something that weed and feed and prevents, you're gonna have to get the ones that's always say weed and feed plus crabgrass preventer. That's gonna stop all your weeds from re-germinating and your grassy weeds like poa, nut sedge, crabgrass, barnyard grass, anything of that nature that's gonna uh, actually destroy the yard and come back. This is not it. This is just your basic weed and feed. As you guys can see, 2803, 28 representing nitrogen, zero phosphorus, 3% potassium, aka potash. Like I said, kills dandelions, clovers, and other major listed weeds here. This one bag is gonna cover 5,000 square feet. A couple other uh, popular weeds that it kills is bitter weed, bitter crisp, clover, chickweeds, things of that nature, creeping charlie. So it got a whole list of weeds right here, as you guys can see. It's gonna do your basic weed and feed. Now, what I see personally when people use a weed and feed, I don't necessarily like using a weed and feed. I like to separate my applications. I like to weed and then feed with separate applications. But what I see and understand with people, they just want a one-stop shop. You wanna go ahead, weed and feed at the same time. So I understand why people use it. You know, and these are very useful for big areas if you can't spray and walk the yard and spray every square foot of your yard. So people choose to put down a weed and feed. But what I notice about the weed and feeds, a lot of times people go ahead and burn the yard because you're over applying the product. Now your weed and feeds normally go something like three pounds per 1,000 square feet or something two and a half per 1,000 square feet. So you gotta go ahead and measure out the proper amount now i'm not saying you have to be exact but you know if it says two and a half pounds per 1000 square feet and you do three pounds per 1000 square feet you round it up that's fine you're not going to do any damage to the yard but if it says two and a half pounds per 1000 square feet you're doubling the dosage you're going to burn the yard and that's what happens a lot of times with people they burn the yard now this one says apply at 2.6 pounds per 1000 square feet down in there i don't know if you guys can see it and also with these weed and feed products it says only apply about at a rate at a max rate of four thousand i meant four pounds per one thousand square feet and they only want you to do two applications a year of these weed and feeds that's the thing when you're doing like a blanket coverage or a blanket spray like i showed you guys in the past with the holes in sprayers you're only supposed to use those products maybe two to three times a year same thing as these weed and feeds two to three times a year tops now if you're doing like a spot spray you can use those all year round because they are in a controlled environment you're not broadcast spraying or blanket spraying you're not using it everywhere they don't really want you to overdo it with these products so like i said if you want something and you want to do like a spot spraying go ahead and pick you up one of those ready to use sprays and you can spot spray all year long when you see weeds pop up. But when you're using the blanket spray or these granules, only two to three times tops a season. So I'm gonna show you guys how to weigh out the proper amount so we don't actually burn out anything. We're gonna use it and do it the proper way. Now, when you use a weed and feed product, you gotta make sure the lawn is moist. You can do it early morning when the morning dew. You can apply it after it rains or you can run your irrigation system to wet the lawn and then you can apply it. Why? Because you want the granules to stick on the weeds. In this case, you're going to wait two to three days after applying it so the weeds can absorb the actual granules and actual start breaking down. Then you're going to come back and water this product in. So now you get the feeding ability. Like I said, first you're going to weed. You're going to put it on the lawn, let it sit for two to three days. Then you'll come back on that third day and water your product in. So now the product is going down into the soil and now you get the feeding. So you're gonna kill the weeds and feed your grass. So this is pretty much basic. I'm gonna show you guys how to weigh it out. As you guys seen me in the past, I got a little bucket here, got a luggage scale, 
hook it up to the actual bucket right there. And then when you lift it up, you're gonna be able to see how much this actually weighs. So that's how you're gonna weigh out the proper amount. So let's go ahead and get some of this product in the bucket so we can do our job. All right, so this is the area that we will be treating today. Now, as you guys can see, it is a perfect area to use this weed and feed to show you guys the demonstration. But it's not a lot of grass over here. So I don't know how much growth we're really gonna get out of the grass because the majority of it is weeds and soil, as you guys can see. But this is a perfect demonstration for you guys on the weed and feed and how it's supposed to stick on the actual weeds. So as you guys can see, it's a little wet down here. It did rain last night. So this is a perfect time to actually apply a weed and feed product on the wet weeds, like I said, so the actual product can stick and be absorbed into the plant. And then, like I said, two to three days after come down and rain and or water it in. So let's go ahead and get this product down and I'll show you guys how it looks on the actual weeds. So stay tuned. All right. So this is also how the product look. Now the Prio size is not as small as Scott's. This is a generic brand. Scott's is the only one that had them little small micro size Perils, but this will still get the job done. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread down this product now. We finished spreading down the product, so let's get a close up on how we did. So, as you guys can see, the little perils are sticking on the actual weeds. That's exactly what you would like. That's how you want it to be because it's gonna absorb into the weed. And like I said, two to three days after, that's when you'll come and water in your product so it can be, so you can start feeding the lawn. You wanna sit it on the weeds so it can start killing and then come back so it can start feeding. As you guys can see, Perils sitting right there on the actual weeds. That's exactly how you want it to be. Now it's not gonna be perfect, especially using the, the generic brand, because like I said, the size of the Perils are bigger than the Scots. Scots will work a lot better because they're very small, so they're gonna stick right away. But like I said, you can still get the job done with the generic kind, as you guys can see. That's how you want it to look. So this side, this is across the street from my house. My neighbor normally manages this side, but he needed a little help. He asked me for some help here. So I told him I'll come out and do a little weeding and feeding on this side. But as you guys can see, this is how it's supposed to be. So let's wrap this video up. All right, so that's how you apply a weed and feed product. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys wanna stay caught up on the video of me doing that little area right there. Please hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you got any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Have you guys applied weed and feed? Do you like applying weed and feed? Me personally, I don't like the weed and feed products. Like I said, I like to break them up. And also when I go to weed the lawn, I like the liquids. The liquids work a lot faster and better. But I understand why people like the weed and feed products. It's a one-stop shop. So. 
you got to do what you got to do. So stay tuned. Like I said, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back very soon with another video. So take care.